A nominee has emerged for Chicago's next U.S. attorney, Zachary Farden, who has a history of taking on tough cases. WGN's Julie Unruh has the story. It is one of the toughest jobs, but one of the most rewarding jobs. Just ask any U.S. prosecutor who's actually had that job at one point. Well, I heard from Zachary Farden today, and he tells me the nomination is certainly an honor, and he looks forward to the confirmation process, a process that is still going to take some time. Well, this former assistant U.S. attorney is leaving the world of defense work in order to become a government employee again. Zach Farden will run the Northern District of Illinois office, where he wants to help prosecute the likes of former Governor George Ryan and his co-defendant at the time, Larry Warner. Well, today, the president made his choice to replace U.S. Attorney Patrick Fitzgerald uh, official by saying, today, I am honored to nominate this highly respected legal professional as United States attorney. Zachary Farden will be unwavering in his commitment to justice, and I'm confident he will serve the people of Illinois with excellence. Farden, a native of Tennessee, once prosecuted cases here in the Dirksen Federal Building, his colleagues consistently calling him a leader with integrity and a brilliant legal mind. Back in 2005 and 2006, he was involved as a prosecutor when then-Governor George Ryan was on trial for six months. Years later, he represented a key witness in ex-Governor Rod Blagojevich's criminal case. Well, today, his friends and peers in the legal community share their thoughts about the man who will be in charge of cases from public corruption to gang crimes. Two big topics in Chicago these days, big challenges for the man expected to lead the office. I think he'll bring a high standard for integrity. I think he's got great judgment. I think he has a sense of energy. And, you know, unlike some people, he can disagree with people without being disagreeable. A great guy for the job. Yeah, he's, he's very bright. He's humble. He's a very nice guy. I think he'll be a leader in the office. Mm -hmm. And uh, people will look up to him and he'll set the right tone for the office. He has all the integrity in the world. Now, Zach Farden has walked the halls of the Dirksen Federal Building for some time, and one gentleman who watched him in the courtroom many, many times is our legal analyst, Terry Sullivan. Thanks for being here. Yes. Give me your first impressions, Terry, about him, not only as a prosecutor, but also as a defense attorney and his reputation. Well, I'm actually uh, thrilled that he was appointed. I think it's a fantastic appointment by the president. Um, Zach, uh, I don't know who Zachary is, but Zach, as everybody knows him, um, is, to my knowledge, uh, very intelligent, but he's also bright and he's affable in a, in a shy sort of way. Um, I, Humble. I, yes, but, but he's almost a little withdrawn, but actually he, he presents a very good image. Uh, I think that he's, uh, he's going to be very, uh, very good in the spot uh, that he needs to be at for a couple of reasons, but especially for the reason that, that he is going back into, into his office. He's been outside. He knows what it's like outside. That's going to help him. I think that the fact that he uh, is, is one of them, as they say, he's, they're, they're going to welcome him with open arms and the, and the floors up above us here. And I think, I think also, Julie, what's more important, my impression, I think that he's going to be independent, uh, a la Pat Fitzgerald. But I also think that he's going to be fair and he's going to listen to all sides if somebody has something to say. Well, and an independent mind is, is what it seems so many people really want in a town like like ours, where they're worried about nepotism and other things. I wanted to ask you, too, about the challenges that he may face upstairs in the office that may be different today versus the office 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago. Things like gang issues, Absolutely. really at the top of mind for everyone. Absolutely. I think Zach is probably going to come in here with the idea that one of the things that he's going to do is continue the public corruption thing that, that Fitzgerald had uh, and did a magnificent job with. But I think he's also going to come in and go after, use whatever federal laws he can to go after the gun violence in Chicago, the drugs and the gangs. I really think that the feds are needed in this, and I think that's probably something that, uh, that Zach is going, to, is going to go after. He's got, he's got a lot of challenges, and as you say, the challenges in, in the criminal area change uh, almost every day, but he's also going to be working with uh, the attorneys who handle a, a bundle of very important federal civil matters uh, 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 in, in relation to all the changes thing is that's going on with patents and and with with other areas of the law that in fact uh, they they're uh, supposed to be watching out for it to make sure that everybody's toeing the line on that uh, it's 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 a fine move and I think it's very good for the for the people of Chicago and I think it's a just a fine move by the president very good thanks so much Terry thanks sure, for joining sure. us we should mention too the Senate confirmation hearings are the next step for Zach Farden in this case again no sense of timing at this point um, but I don't think there's 
any question whether this will go through or not, there has been bipartisan support for him as a nominee. His name was one of several that were actually submitted to the White House several months ago by Senators Durbin and Kirk. So again, it likely will sail through, you know, provided there aren't any problems along the way. Um, from a political standpoint, he seems to be uh, a good candidate for all. We'll have more on the story later tonight.